first time in decades, American consumers face new real estate practice changes that will go into effect very soon. And here to explain what those changes will be is Kevin Sears, the president of the National Association of Realtors. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Angie. Well, let's talk about those changes. What are they and what is that impact to the real estate market? Yeah, there are two main changes that are coming as a result of the settlement uh, that the National Association of Realtors entered into. Uh, the first is going to impact more of the real estate professionals, and that is that um, we will no longer be uh, able to share cooperating compensation information across a multiple listing service, the broker marketplace, where we share data about our, our listings. Um, and then the second change is will impact the consumer a little bit more and the, the buying consumer, and that is that we will have a written agreement with the buyer uh, in advance of showing any property. And in, in that agreement, what uh, we need to do is, is be able to clearly articulate and put uh, in writing the services uh, and the expertise that will be provided by the real estate professional. And importantly, equally as importantly, uh, what the consumer, the buying consumer, um, will have to pay for those services. Um, and uh, so given the first point, if there's not an offer of cooperating compensation, then the buyer will have to pay the fee for the, their representative. Um, but with the practice changes uh, and the settlement, selling consumers still have the right to offer cooperating compensation to buyer representatives. Um, and so it will just be uh, more of a negotiation now than it had been in the past. And how is this information going to reach down into not just the association, but into the buyers and sellers and into the marketplace? Is it already released? How are people seeing this? Yeah, well, being with you this morning, I appreciate the opportunity. This is part of it. Um, but we've been educating uh, the, the realtors, uh, the members of the National Association of Realtors for months uh, at this point, and I've uh, been pushing information out. There's a great website that the consumer and uh, real estate professionals can go to for more information. It's facts.realtor um, in case they have any questions. Um, but this is part of our, our campaign, um, getting the word out to, to let both the consumers and the real estate professionals know uh, about the practice changes well uh, the members of the NAR are they are they uh, pleased about these changes or are this just something that has to be dealt with um, well, well, please listen. What I'll tell you is that we had a great system. Our, our, our real estate market was the envy of the world. And so anytime there's a change, there's a, there's going to be a, a little uh, concern. Um, but we're, we're doing everything we can to educate the members that it's going to be okay. I have complete faith and confidence in our members' abilities and realtors' ability to be able to adapt um, and to be able to thrive given the, the new uh, changes. And, and listen, anytime we can have a conversation with a consumer, about the value that we provide um, to the transaction and the fact that, that we're looking to get paid, I think it's going to be better off for everyone uh, with a little more transparency here. And Kevin, again, the uh, website for our viewers to uh, visit? Facts.realtor. And that's where they can get information, both if you're a, a buyer or a seller, a uh, real estate professional, uh, on these practice changes that will be going into effect by August 17th. Kevin Sears, thank you so much for sharing all this information. My pleasure. Thank you, Angie. We'll have more local lifestyles for you right after this. Stay with us.